Hello children. Today you will revise lesson Chemical Changes and Chemical Reactions. Chemical changes are irreversible and permanent changes. These are the changes in which new substances are formed with new properties. Examples of chemical changes. Roasting of an iron, photosynthesis, burning of a paper, burning of magnesium ribbon. Chemical reaction. Chemical reaction is a chemical change in which the substances called reactants react with each other due to the breaking of the old bonds and new substances called products are formed due to the formation of new bonds. Certain conditions are required for a chemical reaction to occur. So the conditions are as follows. First of all condition. Close contact. The two substances which are reacting with each other should be in close contact. Example, lead nitrate and potassium iodide should be in contact with each other to form new compounds potassium nitrate and lead iodide second condition the two substances should be in aqueous state or in molten form some reactions occurs only when the substances are mixed with each other in the solution state or molten state example sodium chloride and silver nitrate react only in their aqueous state to form sodium nitrate and silver chloride third condition heat is required for certain reactions to occur copper carbonate decompose only when heat is supplied to it to copper oxide and carbon dioxide fourth condition light some reactions take place by the action of light such reactions are called photochemical reaction example photosynthesis in plants electricity some reactions occurs when electric current is passed through the substance example electrolysis of water sixth condition pressure pressure is required for certain reactions to take place example nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia only when a pressure above 200 atmosphere is applied to the reaction seventh condition catalyst some reactions need catalyst Catalysts are the substances which increases or decreases the rate of the reaction. Now we will study about characteristics of chemical reactions. First characteristic of a chemical reaction, evolution of gas, that is in many chemical reaction one of the product is a gas example when we add zinc to dilute sulfuric acid then a gas is evolved with effervescence and the gas evolved is hydrogen second condition change of color certain chemical reaction are characterized by the change in the color of the reactant. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज अ ब्लू कलर कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन इन अ बीकर एंड यू एड एन आयर नेल इन इट देन यू विल नोटिस दैट स्लोली द ब्लू कलर ऑफ द कॉपर सल्फेट फेट्स एंड इट टर्न आउट टू बी ग्रीन सो देर इज अ चेंज ऑफ कलर आफ्टर सम टाइम द सोल्यूशन टर्न आउट टू बी ग्रीन एंड रेडिश ब्राउन पैसिपिटेट ऑफ कॉपर आर ऑप्टेंट एट द बॉटम ऑफ द बीकर सो इट मीन्स दैट देर इज अ चेंज ऑफ कलर न थर्ड कंडी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेट 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 आर द इन सॉल्यूबल प्रोडक्ट सो इन सम रिएक्शन इन सॉल्यूबल प्रोडक्ट इज फॉर्म एग्जाम्पल वैन यू एड सिल्वर नाइट्रेट टू सोडियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन देन वाइट प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ सिल्वर क्लोराइड आर फॉर्म fourth characteristic change of state in many chemical reaction a change of state is observed for example hydrogen is a gas oxygen is also a gas when these two gases react with each other then the product form is water which is in the liquid state hence there is a change in the state types of chemical change or chemical reactions there are different types of chemical reaction which are as follows direct combination or synthesis reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction double decomposition reaction first of all direct combination or synthesis reaction as the name suggests direct combination means two reactants they will combine with each other to form a single product example carbon burn in oxygen and form a gaseous gaseous compound carbon dioxide carbon monoxide react with oxygen or combine with oxygen on heating and form carbon dioxide ammonia and hydrogen chloride they combine to give ammonium chloride magnesium and oxygen they combine to give magnesium oxide so all these are the examples of combination reaction thus in combination reaction substances they combine with each other to give you a single product now come decomposition reaction decomposition reaction means a substance will get break into two or more than two new products so decomposition it is the breaking up of a compound either into elements or simpler compound such that these products do not recombine to form the original compound example mercury oxide on heating give mercury and oxygen water when electric current is passed through water it will get decomposed to hydrogen gas and oxygen gas potassium nitrate on heating give potassium nitrite and oxygen calcium carbonate on heating up to 1000 degree centigrade it will give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so in decomposition reaction substances get break into two or more products now comes displacement reaction in displacement reaction what happens that a more active metal displaces a less active metal from its salt solution it means that a metal which is more reactive will take out the metal which is 
less reactive from its salt solution example if there is a cop blue color copper sulfate solution in a beaker and you add an iron nail in it then what happen in the reactivity series you will notice that iron is more reactive than copper so what it will do it will take out this copper from the copper sulfate and take its place and form ferrous sulfate and you will get copper similarly when magnesium metal is added to sulfuric acid then this magnesium being more reactive than hydrogen it will take out hydrogen from sulfuric acid and form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas so in displacement reaction the more reactive element displaces the less reactive metal from its salt solution now comes double decomposition reaction double decomposition means there is uh, this is a type of a chemical change in which two compounds in a solution they react to form two new compounds by mutual exchange of radicals so double decomposition is you can call it as double displacement reaction there are two types of double displacement reaction precipitation reaction or neutralization reaction so first of all precipitation reaction in precipitation reaction precipitates are formed it's a chemical reaction in which two compounds in their aqueous state they react and they form insoluble salt insoluble means one salt is not soluble and it will come out in the form of precipitate so that's why it is called as precipitation reaction for example barium chloride is there sodium sulfate is there so these in their aqueous solution or when you make uh, their solution in water then they react together to gives you white precipitate of barium sulfate and sodium chloride in barium chloride there are two radicals barium iron and chloride ion similarly in sodium sulfate there is sodium ion and sulfate ion so when the reaction takes place sodium will combine with chlorine and form sodium chloride barium will combine with uh, sulfate and form barium sulfate now comes neutralization reaction it is a reaction between acid and a base and what is formed during this reaction when acid and base they react salt and water are formed we call it as a neutralization reaction and the reaction takes place because hydrogen ion from the acid combined with the hydroxyl ion from the base and form water example NaOH plus HCl it gives you NaCl plus H2O so double decomposition reaction may also occur with evolution of gas sometimes gas is also evolved during uh, double decomposition reaction example zinc sulfide is there if you will add hydrochloric acid in this zinc sulfide then zinc chloride is formed along with the evolution of hydrogen sulfide gas thus you have studied about different types of reactions